Hello everyone, welcome back to Eastwood Cottage Garden. It is a bit windy out here, so my eyes are watering a little bit. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your families have been well. We have been doing a lot of activity in the garden space. I have done some filming of it, but I just wanna do kind of like an overview, recap of what has happened in the past couple of weeks, bring you up to date. So we did get finished planting the planters in mostly in the immersive bed, and we planted some pansies in the deck steps borders and in the front flower pots. Everything is doing really well. We do have a little bit of a problem with the squirrels, you know, doing their digging, trying to hide their whatever, they're foraging for the winter. So I've kind of had to put some back. An update on the self-watering container that we created in the back of the immersive garden space. It is doing amazingly well. I had to fill it. I, I put water in it one time in the two weeks and it was only half empty. I don't even think it was half empty. It, it filled up really quickly. So I think this is gonna be a wonderful solution, especially in the summertime when the, you know, the summer heat hits and especially with coleus, I like to plant coleus in that pot and they are very thirsty plants. So I think this is gonna help a lot with that situation. The pansies in the front are doing the best out of all the pots, which I'm very surprised with because I thought that the pansies would need more sun and as you can see, they're doing really, really well. The other thing that we have done was to install a compost bin in, a, in the compost bin area, courtesy of my friend Dodie. She had one to, and, and graciously gave it to me. And I'm very interested to see how this kind of compost bin works in, in relation to my normal composting strategies. So stay tuned for that. We'll be giving updates on how that's, how that's working. So very excited about that. We have also harvested some goji berries. The plant that wouldn't die uh, is thriving. It has some powdery mildew, but it's been very dry. So a lot of the plants around the area, and I know people have been posting that they've had powdery mildew in their areas as well. But the goji berry crop has been the best it's ever been since the plant has been here. The honeybees are still all over it. There's still flowers. And I did a harvest, as you can see, of berries and they are drying now. So it takes about two to three weeks. So I'll give you an update on the, on the status of that. And I'm gonna insert some footage now about Jeff um, working in the long border to expand that so that we can get some planting done this fall in preparation for the new season. Jeff over there setting up a cardboard. We laid out the hose to delineate the flower bed, going, continuing on the flower bed. So he's gonna put some landscape staples in there to hold it in place. Uh, so it stays there until we can fill the whole area with cardboard and mulch or compost. We have also done some shopping. So I ordered some plants from the tree center to go into the new expand, newly expanded long border. So I'm gonna start the video. I just want to do the recap, but this is what this video is about, is installing the plants in, that we purchased from the tree center into the long border. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So I just wanted to jump in here just to show you the haul that we got from the tree center. I'm gonna put these on the new flower bed that we're doing on the side of the property. So what we have ordered and received our three, and I apologize, I don't have the mic on because I'm trying to get this in here really quick. Three Brandywine Viburnum, they're from Proven Winners, and they get to be five to six feet tall and about six feet wide. So we're gonna put this in here. They have red foliage in the fall, and they have these beautiful berries and flowers white flowers, fragrant flowers, and then they have these berries that come out in the fall. You can see some here that have dried up, but apparently the birds love them. And it's native to the East Coast. We also have three red, yellow twig dogwoods that I think, as you can see in the sun here, are shining very, very beautifully against the sun. And I think even there the, with the bare, we're doing this mainly for the, the bare branches that we'll be able to see throughout winter to bring a little brightness to the flower bed. And they get to be 
I'm gonna grab the tag here. This is the yellow twig dogwood. And they get to be seven to nine feet tall and six to eight feet tall and seven to nine feet wide. So I'm gonna bring these a little bit forward, I think. Well, we'll see, uh, so that they're not right up against the fence to give them room to grow. And you'll also see, I got two of these. One is already planted, I was testing out something else that I'm gonna show you. So I put it in the ground already. These are blue chip junipers and they get to be about six feet wide and about uh, one to two feet tall. So that's gonna be a nice kind of ground cover aspect to cover some of the areas in the new flower bed and also provide some year round color. We have the blue color in these and also some foliage, hopefully for winter, for some arrangements. So this is the haul that we got from the tree center. I'm very excited to put these in the ground. I love the fact that these have the chartreuse leaves and the yellow up against the red, and then we have the blue. So this is gonna be a nice combination in that border. So Jeff and I were able to do most of the planting for 
starting the expanded long border. As you can see, it goes all the way down here and curves out. Eventually, it will go all the way to the sidewalk. And we have planted in, in an alternating pattern, the yellow twig dogwood and the brandywine viburnum. So I think that they will be very lovely in this space. I'm really enjoying that the yellow twig dogwood is already adding some light and color in this area and brightness. And we'll have that all season long. We also took out the red daylilies that were in the back here. I'm gonna be moving them further forward into the flower bed. We're keeping them. So I have these in pots up against the deck in the uh, plant area. I need to clean up some of the cardboard that got displaced from the planting. But this is what we have done in this bed so far. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we will be doing some more projects coming up. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. My name is Tracy. I garden in zone 7B in Southeast Pennsylvania and these are my garden chronicles. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your gardens are doing well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.